Well, something very nasty has been going on at a YMCA camp in Waco, Georgia. 18 people have been brutally slain there this month. Well, actually, the blood and gore has all been fake. It's part of a horror film made by Georgia director Michael Simpson. Simeon Smith has this Halloween treat. When we reflect on the moments of terror in our lives, most of us remember that certain movie, a film that so grabs our imagination that we and the victim became as one. <laughs> Yes, Lily, the lawnmower. No, no. Great fun. I mean, where else can you get soaked with blood and have your arms yanked out of the socket and set on fire and have your head slashed off and get paid for it? This is great, man. And action. Forty people, all from Georgia, with a couple of notable exceptions, had a blast this month near Bremen. Yeah. They made a movie about a maniac, transsexual, psychotic, murderous camper whose only prerequisite to killing is that there be a lot of blood. <laughs> there are a lot of dead teenagers out here. Gosh, I can't even remember them all now. They all blend in together after a while. In our own little way, we'd like to promote sharing, love, harmony. This could be judged a funny film, really. Wacko husband Michael J. Pollard and his nutsola wife Sandra Dorsey run this experimental camp for obnoxious teenagers. You just can't wait for Pam Springsteen, Bruce's real-life sister, to murder him. Here's an example. Mark and action. And what's your name? Arab, San Francisco. Do you have a last name, Arab? No. Do I need one? Anybody that nasty to a TV reporter deserves a cruel fate. Thank you ever? We're swinging here. The actors loved it, from decapitation to the old firecracker up the nose right. trick. Yeah. Why not? This was the ultimate Halloween masquerade. Ooh, <laughs> the blood and. Think of how you'd look when you're dead. <laughs> they're always crying more blood, so they're getting it. They call Bill Johnson Splat. The Atlanta artist created the gore for the films. He was inspired by the Halloweens of his youth. My parents and everybody told me ghost stories, and it would be like I'd, I'd scare myself to death by imagining things. And what I've done, I've taken those things, and I've converted them later on into, you know, I guess as you'd call it an art form. <laughs> But our overriding impression of this day was not the horror, but the joy of watching young Georgians act, direct, and film. That works. As far as I'm concerned, you can put together as good a film as can be made and do it out of Georgia. Simeon Smith, 11 dead. Cut. Very nice. 11 mm. Alive Dead. Mm. I'm feeling mm. nauseated. I don't know about you. <laughs> well, Teenage Wasteland will be released in 1989. Incidentally, 11 Alive photographer Richard Crabb plays a role in the movie, but he manages to escape alive. Our